Hi YouTube, this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Direct Blackest Night Sinestro Core Mongol. Now, this guy is a massive figure. Um, you might not even realize how big this packaging is until I bring in a standard size figure. Here we have the Blackest Night Hawkman still in packaging. And as you can see, just dwarfed in comparison. An incredibly sized figure. And um, another quick note, I know a lot of you are messaging me trying to make sure I knew, and I appreciate the, you know, heads up guys, but um, this is just a retweaked figure. Um, Mongol was originally released in the Infinite Crisis line, but they have um, added the sculpted Sinestro core rings on and kind of twist the, tw um, tweaked the center of his chest. And honestly, I never picked up the Infinite Crisis figure, so, oh well, it works for me. So as you can see here in packaging, he does not come with any accessories, including a base. So even, and I think that's understandable, he's a massive figure. A base would have been kind of redundant. We'll go into the back of the packaging here. As you can see, they advertise Series 6, and they also list the other series. I mean, they, this is Series 5. My mistake. I also think I called him Series 6 in the beginning. Oops. Up here it says, The Dead Shall Rise. Throughout the decades, death has plagued the DC Universe and taken the lives of heroes and villains alike. But to what end? As the War of Light rages on, the prophecy of the Blackest Night descends upon us. With Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps at the center of it all, from the story by Jeff Johns and Ivan Rees. And then his actual read-up says, Mongol, son of the galactic tyrant of the same name, violently entered the ranks of the Sinestro Corps. He quickly sought command of the Corps in Sinestro's absence, and brutally tore it from the hands of Arkillo. Arkillo. Relocating the core to Korrigar, Mongol employed wholesale slaughter to subjugate the race in direct challenge to Sinestro. Upon Sinestro's return during the events of the Blackest Night, he proved once and for all that he was the one true leader of the core, banishing Mongol to the heart of his central power battery to suffer for an eternity. And arguably one of the best fights of all the Sinestro core war. Well, I mean, Blackest Night. Oh, it's just brutal. Sinestro tears the crap out of Mongol. He's like, I'm not killing you. You just come back as a Black Lantern and chunks him in the battery. But enough fanboyism. Let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And here we have Sinestro Core Mongol out of packaging. Let's get a quick 360 of them. Um, I'm really impressed with the detail on these rings. As you know, with the DC Direct Blackest Night line, one of my big complaints with the lines is that every time they give us a ring on a figure, it's just a blob of colored plastic. Here they've actually taken some time and sculpted in the detail. See, every ring has the Sinestro Core logo. So, very nice. I'd say if you even bought the Infinite Crisis some um, Mongol, and you're a big fan of Blackest Night, this might warn a re-pickup. Um, as far as articulation, Mongol's head goes left and right, no up and down. His arms go out, do a full 360, and spin at the wrist. Um, no main torso articulation. His legs go out, forward, and back. So, there's not a ton of articulation on this guy, but he is pretty massive, so... Gotta lose some somewhere. Um, so yeah, I guess I don't have a whole lot to say about this guy, except that he's so massive, he's gonna look great in your collection. Um, as a guy who's never bought this figure, he's by far worth the pickup price for me, which my comic shop charged me $25. Um... So yeah, well, they even left him a little foot peg. The only thing I even have a slight complaint about was, I guess even if he would have towered over it, they could have given us a base. Could have used that for a custom figure or something. So, um, yeah, once again, Mongol will run you 20, roughly, probably around 30 bucks offline after shipping. And if you're a Blackest Night fan, you have to get this guy. A fantastic figure. Um, I'd even say if you got the Infinite Crisis, once again, rebuy him, because he's that awesome. All around great job on the paint and detail. And this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.